Stop everything you're doing. If you're a photographer, a filmmaker, or a content creator, and you were about to buy a new camera, you need to put your wallet away immediately. The wait is finally over. The rumors have stopped swirling, and the cold, hard facts are starting to land. We are looking at the most anticipated camera release of the last five years. The Sony A7V is coming, and it is coming much sooner than anyone expected. December 2025 is the date. This isn't just a spec bump. This isn't just a new menu system. This is a complete redefinition of what a hybrid camera can do. We are talking about uncropped 4K60, AI chip stolen from flagship models, and stabilization that defies physics. Today, we are going completely hands-on with the leaks, the specs, and the confirmed manufacturing details to tell you exactly why this camera is going to change the industry. Let's start with the release timeline, because this is the news that has everyone buzzing. For months, we heard, maybe spring, maybe summer. Those timelines are dead. We now have confirmation that the model code WW24259 has been registered. Manufacturing is confirmed in Thailand. The announcement is set for early December, possibly as soon as December 5th. This is strategic brilliance from Sony. They are aiming to get a limited batch of these cameras into the hands of key influencers and early adopters right before Christmas, with a mass shipment flooding the market in January 2026. This means the A7V is going to be the camera that defines the start of the new year. If you're planning your 2026 gear budget, this is where the money is going. Now, let's get to the heart of the beast, the sensor. There was a massive debate online. Some people swore it was going to be 44 megapixels. Others thought 60. But Sony has made a very specific, very calculated choice. The A7V will feature a 33 megapixel full frame sensor. But, and this is the most important part, it is not the same sensor found in the A7 IV. That sensor was good, but it had slow readout speeds. This new unit is a completely redesigned, next-generation architecture. The leaks strongly suggest it utilizes partial stacking technology. Why does partial stacking matter to you? It is the secret sauce. A fully stacked sensor like the A1 is expensive, $6, 500 expensive. A standard sensor is slow. Partial stacking sits in the middle. It dramatically increases readout speed. This means less rolling shutter. You know that jelly effect when you whip the camera around? It's going to be significantly reduced. It also improves low light performance and allows for higher frame rates without overheating. By sticking to 33 megapixels, Sony hits the Goldilocks zone. It is enough resolution for massive prints and heavy cropping, but the file sizes won't clog up your hard drives or slow down your Lightroom workflow. It is the perfect balance for a hybrid shooter, but a sensor is just an eye. It needs a brain, and the brain inside the A7V is a shocking. Sony is putting the dedicated AI processing chip, the exact same silicon found in the $6,000 Sony A1 Mark II, into this mid-range body. This is a game changer. This chip doesn't just look for contrast. It understands a world. It uses human pose estimation. If your subject turns away from the camera, if they're wearing a helmet, if they're behind a tree, the camera knows where their head and I should be and keeps the focus locked. The object recognition database has been massively expanded. We're talking about cars, trains, airplanes, insects, and varied animals. If you're a bird photographer, this AI chip makes the camera feel like it is cheating. If you shoot weddings in dark reception halls with erratic dancing, the focus will stick like glue. This trickle-down of flagship technology is rare, and it signals that Sony is terrified of losing ground to Canon and Nikon. They're throwing everything they have at this camera. Let's talk speed. The A7 IV was a bit sluggish with its burst rates. The A7V is stepping it up to roughly 15 frames per second. Combined with the faster sensor readout and a more thermally stable processor pipeline, this makes it a capable sports camera. It isn't an A9, but for 95% of action shooters, 15 frames per second with reliable autofocus is more than enough. You won't hit a buffer bottleneck after two seconds anymore. However, the feature that has dropped jaws across the industry is the stabilization. The leaks are pointing to an 8STO. 
P in Body Image Stabilization, IBIS system. For years, Sony had the worst stabilization in the game. Canon and Panasonic were miles ahead. With the A7V, Sony is catching up and potentially taking the lead. Eight stops is massive. It means you can handhold a one second exposure and get a sharp image. It means you can walk and talk vlogging without the footage looking like an earthquake. It means you can leave the gimbal at home for run and gun shoots. This gives the A7V a versatility that the older models just didn't have. Now to the video specs. This is where the A7 IV disappointed people. It had a heavy crop in 4K60. It was frustrating. The A7V fixes it. We are looking at 4K60P oversampled from 6K with zero crop. Let me repeat that. Uncropped 4K60. This is the holy grail for wedding filmmakers and YouTubers. It means your 24mm lens stays a 24mm lens even when you switch to slow motion. And if you need to go even slower, the A7V is introducing 4K 120 frames per second. This was a feature previously locked behind the S series or the FX cinema line. Bringing 4K 120 to a standard A7 body turns this into a cinema powerhouse. If you are an indie filmmaker, this camera does everything you need. The body itself is getting a major facelift, borrowing heavily from the A7RV. The screen is the biggest upgrade. It is the 4-axis multi-angle LCD. This is the best screen design on the market, period. It flips out for vloggers, it tilts up for photographers, and it moves out of the way of microphone cables and HDMI ports. It solves every complaint. The electronic viewfinder, EVF, is also jumping up to 5.76 million dots. This makes manual focusing and checking critical sharpness so much easier than the pixelated mess on the older models. There is one potential downside that has some people worried. The front custom button, C5, might be missing. However, Sony seems to be replacing hardware buttons with software intelligence. We are hearing rumors of pre-capture. This is a feature where the camera buffers images before you fully press the shutter. If you are waiting for a bird to take off and you press the button a split second too late, pre-capture saves the moment from the past. It is a cheat code for wildlife photography. Now, we have to talk about the price. Innovation isn't free. The A7 IV launched at around $2,500. The A7V is expected to land closer to $3,000. That is a $500 jump. Is it worth it? When you look at the package, next-gen sensor, flagship AI, uncropped video, 8-stop IBIS, and 4K120, it absolutely is. This camera is punching way above its weight class. It is effectively killing the need for an A7S III for many people. It is approaching a one territory for a fraction of the cost. The price reflects the market reality. This is a professional tool. Sony isn't just dropping a camera, they're dropping an ecosystem. Alongside the A7V, we are getting three new lenses. A pro-grade 100 to 400 mm GM for wildlife. A more affordable variable aperture 100 to 400 mm G for enthusiasts and a spectacular ultra wide f/2.0 GM zoom. This wide zoom is perfect for the A7 versus new video capabilities, targeting astrophotographers and cinematic vloggers. In conclusion, the Sony A7V is shaping up to be the perfect hybrid. It fixes every single complaint about the predecessor. It removes the crop. It speeds up the readout. It stabilizes the footage. And it adds a brain that can outsmart any subject. This is the camera that will define 2026. My best opinion on this product. Honestly, I think the Sony A7V is going to be the best-selling camera of the next three years. The A7 IV was the most popular camera in the world for a reason, and the A7V fixes its only real flaw, the rolling shutter and the crop, by giving us uncropped 4K60 and the AI autofocus. Sony has created a camera that literally has no competition at the $3,000 price point. Canon has the R6 Mark II, but it lacks the megapixels. Nikon has the Z6 III, but Sony's lens selection is better. If you are a do-it-all creator, someone who takes photos on Saturday and shoots video on Sunday, 
There is simply no better tool on the planet than this. It is the Swiss Army knife of cameras, sharpened to a razor's edge. If you are as hyped for the A7V as I am and want to stay updated on the exact pre-order links and the first real-world footage, make sure you smash that subscribe button right now. Share this video with your photographer friends so they don't buy the wrong camera this Christ. Moss, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.